Hello everyone, today we are going to go over Yusako training greedy gift givers. Alright, so after reading the problem statement, it says that we're given NP friends, which in the sample case is Dave, Laura, Owen, Vic, and Amer. And then there are again NP transaction where, where when each friend gives some amount of money to some other group of friends. So in this case, Dave gives $200 to Laura, Owen, and Vic, which $200 are splitted like equally into three portions. And since there is a remainder, uh, the um, after you divide it, it would be four. So for this example, 200 divided by 3, when you floor it, it would be 66. So the next case, Owen would give $500 to Dave, Amer would give 150 to, to two people, which are Vic and Owen. Laura gives $0 to Amic and Vic, and Vic gives $0 to zero people. So um, let's just model this problem out. All right, so we have five people. We have Dave. Whoops, we have Dave. We have Laura. We have Owen. We have Vic and Amer. All right, so each person originally has zero dollars. So, um, First, we look at this. So Dave extracts twenty um two hundred dollars from the bank. So negative two hundred, and then he would give sixty six dollars to Laura, Owen, and Vic. So sixty six, and then since um since uh this the since there's a remainder of two, he he keeps two dollars. For the next transaction, Owen gives $500 to Dave. So then Owen would extract $500 and Dave would get $500. Next step, when Amory gives $150 to Vic and Owen. So negative $150. Um, Vic gets $75. And Owen also gets $75. So um for Laura, she's giving zero dollars to two people. And since she's giving zero dollars, it doesn't really matter since she's not giving or like or anyone else is get, getting any money. And again, same goes for Vic, since he's also giving zero dollars. So we make no changes. So after summing this up, this should give us three hundred and two sixty-six. This would give us um this should give us um since sixty sixty six plus seventy five would be one forty one minus that would be three fifty nine and then this would be one forty one and this would be negative one fifty. So that should be the output of the, um, oh yeah, this should be negative because of the negative. That. So this should be the output. So to approach this problem, this should be just like a simulation problem where you just do what the problem tells you. So let's get to coding. All right, so we just include our header files. All right, so um, basically we have NP, which is the number of people. All right, so we can also just use if stream and upstream to redirect our input and output. So, or free open. So, if you could go if stream, fn. In this case, it would be, um, it would be gift one dot n. So you can copy that, gift one dot n and upstream f out, gift one dot out. 
right, so to read n, you do read f and n p. So you have to first read their names. So we you could also have just um a, an std map to to get the index of each of your each of your people. So you could go map string since the name is a string and int which is int which is basically the ID of the of the person. So we go for so basically for each person you can have your name and then you would read your name and then you could just assign um you could assign it just an ID which is based on I which is from zero to n minus one. Alright, so after that, basically since each person starts off with zero dollars and we need to keep track how much money each person has, you can use an array to keep track of that. So you can go like into money, like how much it has, and we can take a look at the maximum n, np. So np is less than or equal to 10, so we could just use like 20 to be safe. So while here we can just to um to make sure it's initialized, we can just do money of i would be equal to zero. All right, so we have np, we have np like transactions, so you can go for. So again, you loop over those. Okay, so first thing we're given is the person who's giving it. So you could go like string sender, so you can read sender. Okay, so the next thing we're given is the amount of amount of money the person is giving. So you can go int amount. Again, you would read it. Third thing we're given is the number of people who are you giving it, who you are giving it. So it would be int um num number of people. So again, you would read it. All right, so now we we need like another array to keep track of which people you are giving the money to. So you could use a vector. So you would do um, um you could got you could call like people, and then the size would be num people. All right, now to actually it would be vector string since. We're basically going by the name of the person. So you could go at like this. So for each element in it, so there would basically be uh there would basically be num people number of people who are you giving it. So to read that you could go for in J, then you ha would have to be less than num people. Then you, every time you increment your J. So you can go a uh, string person, then you would read the person, then your people, you would have to push back your person. So now we are basically done reading the, um, reading the transactions. So now we need to process it. All right, so there is basically, you have to, for example, for Dave, we're giving $200 to three people. So basically each of the each of the people who are receiving the money will get two hundred divided by three rounded down. So um int so you can have a variable called like int um money money got it would be equal to the amount of money you're giving divided by number of people. So um, why would this work? Because since in integer it automatically uh, rounds it down, then this would work. And then there's another case, like for example, for Vic, um, the number of people is zero. So when that happens, then um, when that happens, this would get give like an error because you can't divide by zero. So you can just go here, like if the people is equal to to zero, then you can just skip this by using continue. I saw money got, right? So then you can have your balance basically, which is money. So then your money, 
a viewer. So remember, we have our names, which maps us to the ID. So I can go money of names of sender. It would um, it would subtract for, for Dave, it would be like 200 plus two. So it'd be minus, which is minus the money got. I mean, it would be e it would minus equal, which is this minus itself. Um, money got times the number of people, which are, which um, in this example, Dave is giving. So it'd be money got times num people. All right, so now we're done with the sender and giving money. Now we need to loop through the people who are giving, who, people who are getting the money. So again, for int j equals zero, j must be less than num people, j plus plus. So now basically each of the, each of the people are getting money got. So I could go name, it would be actually names of people of J would be, it would be getting money got. All right. So now after we're done, we can just print our answer. So you, you would do F out and you should just print, you have to first print the name and then the balance. So um, since we have to print out the name, we should also keep track of the name. So you could go, you could also have um, another vector called, um, you could call it like names uh, list. So you would have it of size N, you would have a string. So then over here you would do names L dot push. I mean, actually, since we already initialized it, um, you could just remove that to make the pushback work. So you would push back name. And also same goes for here. Since we don't need this uh, size initializer. So, so there you go. So now we can print out the names which would be names L of I. And also we have to print out the balance it has, which is money I. So now we can go ahead and let's first create our uh, give gift one dot N. And we can basically run this code. Alright, so it's running. should take some time to compile and okay so Dave has 302 Laura has 66 Owen has negative 359 Vic has 141 and Amer has negative 150 so that's it for the video if you have any questions you can go ahead and leave your um, ideas or like questions in the comment section below and see you later. Bye.